it's very difficult for a socialist as I am to choose one thing that you're going to do to change the world because there's so much that needs doing but in the end what I've chosen is one thing that I think would make a big difference that would change quite a lot so that would be to bring into democratic public ownership the big companies, the banks, the big corporations that dominate the British economy. There's probably 100 to 150 of them. Tesco, the big banks and so on. And I think if we brought those into public ownership, we could make a real fundamental difference. Socialists are constantly campaigning over all kinds of things. The fact at the moment we've got £7 billion in benefits being taken from the poorest, the most needy in society at the same time as you've got the bankers taking £7 billion in bonuses. The fact that university education is being taken away by these millionaires who went to Oxford and Cambridge themselves and they're now taking it away from a new generation of young people, middle class young people as well as working class young people, with the increase in tuition fees. Those kind of things, the gap between rich and poor, which is the biggest in Britain since the 1930s, we campaign over all of that day to day. And we think we can make a difference. We think we're going to stop this government carrying out the cuts. But to permanently and lastingly change things takes more than just campaigning within the existing order. You need something more fundamental. And the measure that I want to take, that we would like to take in the Socialist Party, would be a more fundamental measure. Because if you look now at what's taken place in the last two years, it's not a crisis of the public sector. It's a crisis of the private sector, of the banking system. And yet, the bankers are expecting us to pay for it. The interest payments on the debt, the national debt, are now equivalent to £270 a year for every man, woman and child in Britain. But that money is going into the bank, the pockets of the bondholders, the big financiers, or the people who caused the crisis. And we would say, well, we should refuse to pay it. We should nationalise the banks, not like the government nationalised them, the Labour government, where they stepped in and propped them up to sell them back to big business. And Northern Rock, for example, the first to be bailed out, was still the first to throw people out of their homes when they couldn't afford to pay their mortgages. It did it before anybody else on the high street. We would have genuine socialist nationalisation so that you could run those companies in the interests of the population, so that you could provide cheap loans for young people starting out in life, cheap or low interest loans for small businesses that wanted to get going, that you could not evict people out of their homes when they couldn't afford to pay the mortgage for a few months, but give them a leave to stay and so on. And we go beyond the banking system. We would also, as I said, want to take over under democratic public ownership the big corporations. And that would mean that you could run society in the interest of the majority. So instead of talk about green industry, when in reality wind turbine plants shut and go to America because there's no profit in doing it here, you would develop green industry because it's in everybody's interest to do it for the future of the planet. You would do things like instead of having the longest working week in Europe for people in work, while there are millions of people on the dole, sharing out the work with no loss of pay. So nobody had to work more than 35 hours a week. You'd be able to increase the minimum wage to eight or ten pounds an hour because you wouldn't be interested in the profits of a few. You'd be running society for the good of the majority. So that's a big thing. But that's the beginning of building a socialist, democratic, planned economy where instead of everything being run in the interest of a tiny minority, a few billionaires at the top, it could instead be run in the interest of the majority of the population.